And claims by the Ukrainian president that Russia had invaded his country saw many media outlets taking up the story and running wild with it. A guy in a Chichikan now looking at some of the well, rather baseless coverage. Panic alert in Western media after Kiev tweeted that Russia invaded Ukraine. When reports started coming in that fighting broke out between the rebels and Ukrainian forces in the port town of Novoazovsk, many were quick to claim that it's Russia's doing. What seems to be happening on the ground, Haller, is that Russian troops are pushing in from Russia. Photos of tanks emerged in social media with nothing to suggest that they were operated by Russian soldiers. Kiev put out this video claiming it's a Russian tank in Novozovsk. But while journalists were grappling with the new developments and struggling with the pronunciation of the town that was supposedly being invaded, this is Novoskovsk. U.S. and NATO officials pushed ahead with accusing Russia of deploying more than 1,000 troops and heavy artillery into Ukraine. The media quickly picked up on the statement of a rebel leader saying that there are indeed Russian soldiers fighting with the rebels, but that they are either veterans or on vacation. The part about veterans and vacation is often dismissed in the media. Last week, Ukraine called Russia's delivery of humanitarian aid into eastern Ukraine an invasion. This week, it accused Moscow of, quote unquote, a full scale invasion. The Western media, that is generally not putting much distinction between rebels and Russia, quickly picked up that side of the story. That is despite the fact that this Thursday, the OSC, which is now monitoring the Russian border with Ukraine, said they saw no evidence of Russian troops and tanks crossing the border. The UN said it could not independently verify the reports of the Russian invasion. But a UN Security Council meeting was called upon where its Western members pushed to hold Russia responsible. Russia, stop this conflict. At least 2,220 people, including 23 children, have died in the conflict in eastern Ukraine. But we've never heard the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. call on Kiev to stop bombing its own people. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chakyan, RT.